Now most shops actually stock up on a whole lot of inventory. So how do you know the optimum amount of inventory that your retail startup should really stock up on? Our retail math formulas this week will help you answer all those questions. Ghansham buys his daily stock of palm leaves every morning before opening his shop. He says if he buys palm leaves in a bulk to last him for a week, it will cost him less. But then the cost to preserve them will be much higher. So instead, he prefers daily buys and in turn rotating his money better. Simple logic, but Ghansham can do it as he knows his daily inventory consumption. Inventory occupies chunk of your working capital. So measuring inventory turnover is the first step in building an inventory plan which eliminates unnecessary inventory and frees up cash. That our experts say should be the aim of any startup as they warn us against high inventory. If you keep very high inventory and if your contracts with your suppliers are not such or brand owners are not such that you get compensated for the inventory which you are carrying, you can actually end up really making a huge loss in any product category you are in, right? So inventory is the maximum working capital occupier. You have to be extremely, extremely clear as to how much you stock. Uh, I think small and medium retailers also should be very careful that if they can get the initial stock items which they keep in their showroom at 50% discount or 60% discount by aligning with the suppliers the warehouse size you must initially when you start keep it as small as possible because if you have small warehouse what will you do you will not stock don't over plan a warehouse always under plan a warehouse so that keeps your system very well uh, running. You can't afford to have in a small a space to sell it and large space to stock it definitely then there is a mismatch between the inventory and your sale. So it uh, one has to see that again going back to the cost. If the cost of holding that inventory is very high which I cannot recover then uh, one should not use that. One should uh, start with a small operation. Small inventory, big sale, more efficiency is the suggested method. So now that you have assessed your risk and scale, let's get to the math of calculating your inventory turnover. Simply subtract ending inventory to the opening inventory. Make sure you include lost items, divide that by cost of sales and the result is the number of times your inventory was sold or replaced. Controlling inventory turnover is the key to keeping your shelves stocked with interesting products and having the cash flowing. An important tool in analyzing your sales and inventory is Gross Margin Return on Inventory Investment or GMROI. This can assist buyers in evaluating whether a sufficient gross margin is being earned by the products purchased and also help in measuring the performance of your shop. So how do you get your GMROI? Well, calculate your average inventory at cost, then get your gross margin for the item and divide by cost of your average inventory. This ratio indicates the number of times gross margin is earned from the inventory investment. Experts say 13 to 14 annual rotations of your inventory is an indicator to good business. Complicated it may seem, but if you have a clear business plan, you will have a clear inventory plan and all the retail math will be much simpler.